Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Tige. Let's jump right into it. The S&P 500 is modestly higher today. We're up 75 bips. And this is coming off of a disastrous start for the month of April. We entered today down 3% uh, to start the month of April. Uh, really on the skids is people are really putting inflation in focus. Now, inflation still in focus today. CPI came out hotter than expected. And we continue to have the hottest inflation on record for the past 40 years. And this is month after month as inflation is continuing to go higher and not yet coming in. Now, it's fascinating today that the market's higher and interest rates are lower in spite of that higher, hotter than expected inflation. That may be a sign that the market is expecting a recession and then the Fed to come in with some QE uh, to prop the market back up. We'll see if that plays out. Uh, for that to be true, we're going to need to see inflation come down and there are no signs of that yet. Now, uh, all that said, uh, outside my window, I'm seeing lots of green shoots, plenty of sign that spring is around the corner. For the market though, it's kind of the reverse. We're seeing some dead leaves or whatever the opposite of green shoots are. And we're certainly seeing some signs that a recession could be coming in the next few quarters. Lots of leading indicators are pointing that direction. Michigan Consumer Sentiment, a, a leading indicator, is very weak right now. Uh, two leading indicators uh, in the market are the Semiconductor Index and the Transport Index. I mentioned the S&P 500 start of the month down 3%. Those two indexes are down 9.5% to start the month. So potentially a red flag warning side for investors uh, looking forward for the next few quarters. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Tige.